everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm doing a simple face up on a Dana Treasura Jones Monster High doll. When this doll was released, it kind of got some mixed reviews, so I don't think it's one of the favorites. But I have to say, I really like her. She was super cute. I think some of the problem is that she had a molded corset and sort of a strange belt contraption that worked with a reversible skirt, so it was difficult to change her clothes without showing some of the corset. But I think it kind of worked and it I was able to make an outfit for her that worked with it. And she's just she's kind of different but it's kind of cute. She has really cool boots that open up into a treasure on the heel so I think the idea was kind of neat. Mainly I love this doll's face up, um, face sculpt and the golden skin so I couldn't wait to give her a face up. So as usual, usual, I gave her a couple of coats or three or four coats of Mr. Super Clear and then start right in on the eyes. I'm just really in this phase where I want to do these big googly eyes. <laughs> so I just wanted to give her some big, big round eyes. So give as many layers as it will take of the white. And I gave her her waterline and upper eyelid. Onto the lips, I'm doing a using a custom mix of some of the pan pastels to give her some natural but bright lips, and refining this a little bit with the Derwent watercolor pencil in a similar color. So I was making this doll into sort of a golden witch, so I wanted the colors to reflect the wig I'm giving her, which is like a two-toned, um, sort of blonde and reddish tone wig. So you'll see later when I add her eyebrows, they're a little bit reddish. And I thought it would be cute with her skin tone, I think it kind of works. I'm giving her a wig because I was showing her at the convention that I did recently and I wanted to offer a slightly lower price than the other dolls so when I do a wig on the dolls I'm able to offer a lower price. So once I like the lip then I go in with some black to refine the corners and give a little hint of an open mouth. I'm using sort of a dark golden color to, from Pan Pastel to do the shading here and it worked kind of well. Actually it worked just, what I, just the way I needed it to. I didn't have to mix the colors or anything so that was good. I'm blending it out with some colorless blender and a Q-tip. And then going in with a little bit of blush. And blushing around the apple of the cheeks, around the upper or lower eye corners of the eyes, and inner eye, like eyebrow area. I wanted to lighten up some of the face, give it some more dimension, so I went in with a little bit of white on the forehead, nose, and chin, and blended that out with some colorless blender. So it just gives some more dimension to the face. Here I'm going in with some white to add some highlights, and I always blend those out with a Q-tip. I don't like to have super harsh lines. And then I go in with sort of a low light situation with the darker golden pencil. And many, many coats of white and before I go in with the iris color. And here I'm doing the eyebrows in this uh, sort of a sienna brown. using a terracotta 
Victor Went watercolor pencil to shape those up. And then I'm adding some lashes to it, or some hairs to it with this teeny tiny um, <laughs> chocolate brown color. I guess I was too lazy to grab my pencil extender, but those are handy to use when your pencil gets all the way down there. So I decided to give her some purple eyes, so I'm going with several different colors of purple, just like lavender and violet. And blending that out with a white. Something funny was happening to that pencil. It was like the end of the pencil was open and the lead was moving inside. So I'm giving it a little bit of a highlight with the yellow color. I'd like to give a little bit of different colors in the eyes to give them some interest. Sometimes I use like a darker gold, sometimes I use orange, sometimes yellow. This one I think I went with a just kind of a light yellow. And using many different colors of purple, kind of going down to the bottom with the, the lighter it gets and the darker at the upper lid. Just shaping that up a little bit. And there you can see the, see it coming out a little bit better, more detail, the more detail I add. So then once I'm happy with that, I'll go in and add the pupil and then some eyelashes and then I will give her about four coats of Mr. Super Clear, then some Liquitex gloss varnish on the eyes, sometimes the lips, and add the eyelashes. So if you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I'm traveling right now, so I'm doing my best to get to those. It may be a couple days before I answer, but I try to answer all of, all of your questions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks. Bye.